Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Sailing Spyrodon. This is the story of a family who sold everything and bought a sailboat. Our mission is to learn together, to spread love and kindness, and to explore the world around us. And of course we're going to share boat maintenance and how to build or fix things. Hello. We will share our boat projects and crafts that we do along the way. This is our home, and in it, we plan to build a foundation for traveling education so our son and our audience can see how beautiful the world can be. And please, don't forget to hit that notification button and the subscribe button, that way you don't miss any future episodes. And check us out on Instagram for some more day-to-day -day action. Yeah. Thanks for stopping in, and we hope you enjoy. It's another beautiful day in paradise. Join us as we head over to Sombrero Reef. If you've got a boat in the Keys area, we highly suggest you come and check it out. We're going to spend the next couple days hanging out with, here with our friends Stephanie and Jen and our new friends Sailing Bullseye. Hello, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And by neighborhood, I mean we're in the Keys. Hi, everybody. Uh, this morning, I decided I'm just going to share with you guys our breakfast. I had made a mixture of zucchini, squash, and asparagus and froze it and put it in the freezer. So I thawed it out this morning. I'm going to crack some eggs over it because we're having a little bit of a late morning and everyone's kind of feeling a little bit groggy. So I'm just give them a little bit of extra energy. Right now I'm sauteing the zucchini, squash, and asparagus and a little bit of butter. And then I'm going to add some garlic cloves to it and then pop the egg on top. Uh, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and that corona isn't killing your vibe because you can make the best out of it or you can suffer in it and I hope you all are making the best and spending time with your family and getting shit done and so forth so have a wonderful day bye guys thank you whoa big one now now the uh, black and yellow fish are out The name of this fish is called yellow jacks and they love cat food. If you throw a handful overboard, they will stick around all day. Fish are like bright glow in the dark blue. It's crazy.
fishies get you? Did the fishies get you? <laughs> yeah. That's what I like. Come on. Oh yeah. He's laughing so hard. Hey Jed, come, come back a little bit closer to the boat. Well, there you have it, Sombrero Reef located outside the Boot Key Harbor, a beautiful stop if you're floating around the Keys. This is a memory that we will never forget and cherish forever. I do want to bring up a topic that not a lot of people are talking about, but our coral reefs are struggling to survive. The planet has already lost 50% of its reefs in the past 30 years. The coral reefs only cover about 1% of the ocean floor, but they provide an essential ecosystem for a fourth of the marine wildlife. There is a variety of sea life that depend on the coral reef for survival, including a sea slug that has strong cancer-fighting components. Climate change and pollution play a huge role in the health of our coral reefs. Global warming is causing a process called bleaching to occur. When the water temperatures are too high for too long, bleaching is killing the reefs, and a disease is being passed around, which is killing the algae that is needed to help keep the corals alive and healthy. A friend of mine who has been studying the reefs in the Caribbean recently told me that every single reef is being affected by this disease, except for the one at the dry tortugas. They are unsure as to why the dry tortugas remain untouched, but they think it has to do with the wall surrounding the fort. If you are looking for more information on the coral reefs, I will be uploading a separate video with an interview about what we can do to help. If you find yourself scuba diving or snorkeling in the Caribbean and you see a yellow tag on the reef, please take a picture of it and send it to the number on the back. The yellow tag signifies that a medicine has been administered and unfortunately they don't have enough resources to have scientists check on them frequently so if you're there and you take a picture it helps tremendously. <laughs>